Hi folks, David Creative Craft House to show you our new Enigma 5 encryption machine. This is kind of my next generation machine. Um, extremely powerful, uh, able to encrypt uh, very secure messages and yet very easy to use. Uh, I've made a few changes from the Enigma 2, 3, and 4 model. The, the biggest of which uh, is that uh, these gears have 37 teeth and they do have uh, the uh, digits uh, one through uh, zero through nine on them, in addition to the letters of the alphabet. And I also put a a, a decimal point or, or, or a period, something um, that could be useful, particularly when you're trying to transmit numbers, which a typical machine uh, doesn't do comfortably. Uh, this will indeed. Now these wheels are these gears which we make here. They're wood, quarter inch thick uh, gears. Um, each one is different, by the way. That the the, the letter and number pattern is all different in each gear, and the gears are double-sided. There is a um, different set of patterns on both sides, and I'm not going to show you those because um, uh, if, you've got to, if you've got to know the wheel configuration, has got a computer, it may be possible to figure out some uh, secret messages. So, uh, Without knowing the wheel configurations, um, nearly impossible, I think. Um, uh, the way this thing works uh, is pretty pretty slick, I think. What I've done is created. Um, you notice there's an arrow. There's an arrow one here, and an arrow two, or a top arrow and a bottom arrow. Um, and then each wheel has little markers, as you can see. Uh, on this particular unit, we're going to call the um, the left hand wheel the the uh, English text wheel, and these are for encoding or encryption wheels. So to start this thing out, uh, we would uh, create a, a, a message, and the first letter we would dial it in uh, over here. Uh, if the message is "bring help," I might uh, have the arrow. This is on a B right now. I would come across to the um, the first of the encryption wheels, and the B would in encrypt to the number four. And I would bring the next letter up, which would be the letter R and come over to the second encryption wheel which should translate to an F. I would bring the I up, third letter of my message, and go to the third wheel and it would encrypt to an M. And then over to the fourth wheel, uh, let's see, BRIN, I would come up to the N and it would encrypt to a 9. Now as my message continues, what I would do is now work through the bottom set of arrows. You notice I have a bottom arrow and a bottom arrow. So I would continue, and essentially the first uh, eight letters, um, there is no repeating code. Now, um, at any point along the way, of course, you can change the wheel order. These gears all come off. Uh, the order can change. You can flip them over. Um, and you can, you can change the key. Uh, when you set up this machine, there are two things you need to know. You need to know uh, or, or communicate to the person on the other end somehow uh, you need to uh, know the wheel order and you need to know the key now what is the key it is the orientation of each wheel um, on the machine so in this particular case uh, I have got a, a key of um, P and then X M Q 0 so knowing the wheel order Knowing those wheel orientations, I would set the machine up and start encoding. If I want a really secure message at some point along the message, I might change the key. To change the key, for example, this would, this would change the key. The first letter is no longer a P, it's, it's an A, and it's a totally different set of um, uh, combinations. But I could change one or all or some of the gear, uh, gear positions or uh, keys. There are, in fact, 7.2 billion possible combinations of wheel orders and keys. So, uh, extremely powerful. It's quite attractive. We've used, uh, this particular one is the uh, heavy sapili wood. We may use sapili or mahogany. or Some cherry could be. We're going to use some good quality wood. I like the alder on the wheels simply because it lasers so, so nicely. Uh, you get a good contrast. It's a, as you can see, it's a thick wheel. Uh, all of this is made in our Florida shop, and this is uh, our own uh, design. So I hope this is something you're going to have some, some fun with. It's actually quite practical. 
And I have created a worksheet which will help you in, um, in coding and decoding messages. It's just kind of a structured approach um, to um, writing down your message, which is uh, typically done in blocks of four or five. I've done it in blocks of four because it matches up. We've got four um, gears here that we're going to use for the encoding. So it becomes quite easy to go back and check your work also. Um, we have the, the English text, and then we have the gears one, two, three, four, working off the top row, and then the bottom row, and back to the top row, and so forth. So this will come with your machine. I will also uh, email this to you so you can keep it on file. Uh, it can be very handy. Now I'm also doing, initially I'm doing a, a, a challenge. I'm going to send out a, uh, a puzzle with each wheel. I'll also post it on the internet, on uh, my, my website, regular website. Um, it'll be a $150 challenge, and we may repeat that um, once it's solved, uh, assuming it's solved. We do a similar kind of thing with the Enigma 4 machine. This one's going to be a little bit tougher, so a little more money. So it'll give you something to shoot for. Um, and I hope this is something that, uh, that you can enjoy. All right. Thanks very much. This is Dave at Creative Craft House.